Hello everyone, welcome to my other video. So today I'll be talking about error boundaries in React. So let's get started. So here you can see I have already created one React project. Uh, I have actually created this React project using Create React app. And my React project is running at port 3000. And I have three components. So if I show you each component here, uh, from each component, I'm simply returning one paragraph tag with uh, the component name. So it's finally looking like this. Okay, so now I will show you why you should use error boundaries to handle different error scenarios in React. So now I will just create one error in one component. So if I go inside this uh, two component, uh, I will create one error just before this uh, return. So here I will simply write throw new error and I will pass the error message as error. So this is the error created by me. So if you go back to the browser, you can see that the page is breaking. Now, uh, if I just show you that in app.js, component 1 and component 3, there is no error. Still, the all the components are not getting rendered. Only the error is inside two components, but it should render the rest of the components right. So that's why you should use error boundaries in React. So how to use that? So for that you have to create one file error boundary dot jsx. It can be one tsx file or one js file depending on your project. Now inside this error boundary dot jsx I will uh, write one class full component because the error boundary currently React provides the error boundary only for the classful project. Okay, so now here uh, you can see that I'm just exporting the error boundary class and I'm writing constructor and setting one uh, default state error as null. So I'm just using some React snippets to use all the syntax quickly so here uh, in component did catch lifecycle method you will get all the errors info or you can get even the error object so from here i will simply uh, log this error object and also this error info so if you just extract this error and error info, you can get the error details. And finally, I will uh, need one static method that is uh, get derived uh, state from errors, which is something like uh, static get derived state from props, in normal classful components. So it will be one static file. So in this uh, static get derived state from error, I will simply return this error so that uh, after getting the error, it will uh, return this and update the state. So it's simple. Now uh, what I will do inside uh, render method, I will check if there is any error or not inside the state. So if there is any error, I will show something like something went wrong and I will uh, make the style and change the color to red for this particular text so that you can easily understand that in this component uh, the error happens. Now if there is no error then simply return the children because I will simply uh, wrap all the children with this error bounded component. So to do that, uh, I will go this uh, 
inside this app.js6 file and I will have this one two and three components inside error boundary so inside error boundary there will be three child components one two and three now if I save that and go back to the browser I think uh, this uh, giving me some error let's see what the error is I think inside this error boundary.jsx okay so I think yeah I have to get the error from here so error and it will return this error object and simply update the state and now if I go oh, to the browser you can see that it is showing something went wrong and in this case the page is not getting broken you can see that these components uh, text is getting rendered and below that it is showing something went wrong because it is coming from error boundary okay so for now there is only error inside two uh, component so uh, what if i have to uh, render the list of the components like for one and three so for that what i have to do i have to wrap this error boundary individually so i have to wrap or i have to use error boundary three times for these three components now what will happen it will uh, first check if there is any error in one component if there is error in two component if there is error in three component so it will simply check and render so you can see that in one component uh, there is no error that's why one is getting rendered and for two component there is one error so that's why it is uh, showing something went wrong and for three components again it is showing three so if i just uh, show you how it is working so in error boundary uh, at first it's getting the error from here so for one component it's not getting the error so the state is not getting updated and here the check is false that's why it is simply uh, returning the children and rendering the one component successfully now for the two components uh, two component actually so it is going inside the two component and so here you can see there is one error inside two component so after getting this error what happens this error boundary uh, catches the error so error boundary gets the error from static get derived state from error and return the error so after returning the error uh, the state is getting updated with the error so that's why the check is successful and it is showing something went wrong so that's why you can see something went wrong here and for three component uh, it is again the there is no error it is going uh, error boundary and getting no error so that's why it is just rendering three on the screen so yeah that's all i wanted to discuss on error boundaries in react so if you were just working with error scenarios in react you can also consider these error boundaries so i think this video is helpful to you please consider subscribing thank you